Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, we are going to be doing a back to school makeup tutorial, basically. This is something for the bad bitches out there, you know, the full coverage queens, because I'm not, you know, my mom came into my room yesterday and I was telling her I'm going to do this video and she was just like, have you ever thought of doing something natural? And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea, but I'm not natural, you know? So this is for like the full coverage kind of girls out there. And boys, well, bitch, duh. So, if you are a full coverage person, then this is the video for you. I already did my brows off of camera just because it's gonna save us time, and I just do this brow every single day. Well, not every single day, every single time I do my brows. And this is a tutorial on it on my channel that'll be linked down below just in case you wanna see that. But what I use for brows is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. Wait, yeah. No, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and I use the shade taupe, and then I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush 7B, and I use that, just fill in the brows, comb through, get the product going through the whole brow, and then I also clean them up with some concealer, I use my Tarte Shape Tape, and then I use the Morphe M432 brush, it's just like this kind of flat blush, blush, fat, flat brush right here, and like it's perfect to get like right under the brow, and then bringing it down, and it's just one of my favorite brushes, so that's what I use for my brows. But without all of this, let's just get on to the video. So before you do your makeup, you always have to make sure your, your skin prep is at 100. What I mean by that is you have to make sure your face is clean before, you know, wash your skin off with any um, cleanser that you want. You can exfoliate as well. I usually exfoliate before I do my makeup. And then you also have to make sure your face is moisturized and looks, you know, a little glowy, a little, uh, like, a little glowy, but like, it feels healthy, you know what I'm saying? Skin prep is key to doing your makeup. And with that, primers are really, really important for your makeup. Let's say you're painting your room, right? And there's a darker color and you wanna paint it a lighter color. You have to put a primer on that first so that color, so the lighter color will be shown much more easier and it won't be, look, and it won't look darker because you already have that darker color on. It's kind of the same with the skin. You already have your bare skin, and then you have to put a primer over it for your outcome to be perfect. My skin is very oily, and I also have a lot of pores, so those there is primers out there that are just like that, that can do both for mattifying your face and filling in your pores, but I don't have that with me, so I'm just going to use two. The first primer I'm going to be using is this primer right here. It is the Professional Primer by Benefit Cosmetics. I don't know why I shouldn't say that, but this primer is basically a pore filler, like it makes your skin look super smooth so you don't like how like, your pores show through your makeup, would definitely recommend. And I'm also going to be using this primer right here from Makeup Forever, it's their step one primer in mattifying. So I'm going to put this one on first and this one on top. And I put this in where I need it, so my nose area and right here, down here, and down here. I don't really need it right here, but I do that anyway just because that is the for most forward part of your face. That's like the more out part, and you want that to be the smoothest. And my forehead is just like pore central, so. So see how the skin kind of looks just like a little bit smoother? That's what this does. So now I'm just gonna go in with this primer right on top of it. Oh my gosh. So, um. Let's just take some of that and just blend it into the skin. I'll make it matte. Holy shit, what the fuck am I gonna do with all of this? What the fuck? Oh fuck, dude, I'm screwed. So, I usually don't put this primer around my whole face, but I had to. And I found a little place to put it in, just one of these little, like, jars or whatever. So, that was great. Okay, so the primer's on. I don't really usually put it everywhere, but that's what we're doing today. So we're just gonna go straight into foundation, and I'm going to be using the Maybelline 24 Hour Super Safe Foundation in Classic Ivory. This foundation is so good. It is full coverage, kind of, so let's just do that. I'm just going to take one pump and just blend this around into my face. And when you're doing your makeup, especially on the first day of school, you do not want to have different colors. So make sure you get your ears right here or wherever you need to. Just make sure your shit's not like some different color. Yeah. 
I'm just gonna do my neck right now as well. I'll take a little pump of that and just take it down the neck. And when you're doing your neck, make sure you get, of course, you know, get this part of your neck. That blend behind the ear as well. Just because you never know. Yeah, you never know. Okay, so the main parts of where my foundation I think looks pretty good, so it might not look too good on the under eyes, but we're gonna fix that up with concealer anyway. Um, but yeah, I think everything is looking pretty decent. So for concealer, I wanna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Sand. This is literally probably the best concealer, like everyone knows this. When did this come out? Did this come out last year sometime? Or like 16, like when the fuck did this shit come out? The reason why you want to put it in all of these parts that I'm blending out is because these, as I said, with the same with the professional, these are the parts of your face where people are going to notice the most. Just because it's the more out parts of your face, you know? Like your cheekbones, not really people really look at. Um, these parts of your face are the more like points of attraction. People don't really like look over here, especially since your eyes are right here. I mean, talking to someone, people look in your eyes, they're going to notice probably right down here. So you want these places to look as best as possible. And when you're doing concealer, you want to make sure your under eyes, you want to make sure all of this connects, like all of this connects with concealer. Because if you don't put concealer here, and if you don't put, okay, so if you don't put concealer here and you just blend it out and you don't blend this out in here, and you have like, the, like your foundation will look like a mustache. So you know, you have to like think ahead. But for powder, I'm going to be using the Airspun Powder Loose Face Powder in Translucent Extra Coverage. I'm gonna take that on my beauty blender and just set right under the eyes. Just cause you know, for oily people, you know, if you have oiliness like where I do, like he here, all your forehead and like right here, you wanna make sure that this bitch is set. I'm going to need to do like, you're not gonna need a bake, so this is what I would usually look like before I step out into the sun and get hot and sweaty and oily. Um, but So I'm gonna go bake for maybe 10 minutes and I'll be right back and we will continue on with the video. Wait, hold up, I just totally like fucked up my makeup routine. I actually, we're gonna bake after the face. Sorry, so sorry, that, I don't know why that just came across to me that I have to bake right now because that's usually not what I do. So let's contour now. So for bronzer, I'm just gonna be taking this butter bronzer from Physicians Formula and I'm just gonna bronze up my face with this. Take this on an R7 brush from Morphe and just start getting those cheekbones so they become bronze contours. And when I bronze, I'm gonna take it down my neck as well, just because your contour, you want your neck to be the same as your contour, like to be honest, because it, it's just gonna look like much better, to be honest. So now I'm taking the fan brush in the same bronzer and I'm just going down and up and down the nose on this part of my nose and this is the nose bridge and on the sides as well. And you want to make sure you connect that with the brow as well. Okay, now that bronzer's on, I'm actually just going to bake and I'm going to be using a dry beauty blender and this is the Morphe one and where I'm baking is right on the sides of my nose just because this is where I become a super, super, super oily. And I want to make sure I get all of that. Going all the way to the top and then bringing that in right under my eyes. And the reason why you want to use a dry beauty blender for when you're baking is just because that will put on the powder, it will only really soak it into the skin. You want the powder to sit on top of your face. But if you don't have multiple beauty blenders like I do, then you know, use a, this, a damp one, one that's already been wet, will still work. I just like putting on a dry one. So now I'm gonna wait like a good 10, 15 minutes, let this soak into my skin, and we will continue with the video. Okay, so it's been a good 10 minutes, and I wiped off all the bake, and I just had a little bit more bronzer just because I feel like the bake kind of took off some of the bronzer on my forehead, so I just did a little bit there, just put a little bit more on because you know, why the fuck not. And now the face is baked up, which is good. So I'm not a blush person, if you are, you know, rock the fuck on, go ahead, but I don't really like putting on blush just because my cheeks are already kind of red under this, so I don't want to really put that on again, because um, I don't really like that, but we do like highlighter. I'm going to use this Morphe Continuous Setting Spray just to set this part of my skin already that I already have on, because setting spray, that's what setting spray does, it sets your makeup in, and this is like, you know, a spray kind of one, so I'm just going to spray that on my face right now. 
So for highlighter today, I want to use my Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. Did some just fall out? That's great. Um, this is a super blinding highlighter. I'm going to buy a new one soon because this is running out. But I have a little, the, my skin is a little bit wet, so it's going to like look really good. So a little bit of this goes a long way. Okay, so highlighter is on the cheeks. I don't want something too, too glowy. And I know I said I'm not really a blush person, but I'm actually just gonna put on a little bit of blush just because like, I don't know, like I just had to change a heart. Okay. I'm funny. Anyway, so I'm gonna use this Morphe 310 brush. It is a fan brush. I know that she's be using it for highlighter, but I use it for blush just because it fits perfectly right in between the highlighter and the blush. No, the highlighter and the contour. And now I'm going to go put highlighter on my nose. And for this, I'm going to be using a more Fimba. And for this, I'm going to be using a Morphe 213 brush. And this is just like a little tiny brush. And I like using it for my nose highlight. Right there. Just because it's, yeah, it looks really good. And I'm just going to take that down the bridge of my nose. And now we're highlighted. I'm going to take a little bit of this on my brow bone as well. I'm going to connect it in with my highlighter right here just because that is where you, that is like where your natural like glow is how it looks is right here so putting that on there will just make everything look super cute so for some people this is okay but I like amping it up just a little bit more and what I mean by that it's not really like more like shine or something it's more about like the face products so I'm gonna be taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit in light to medium and I'm gonna take this banana powder right here take the banana powder on a Morphe E48 brush and what I do with this is that I just put it right under my eye just because it is definitely going to re you know I don't know it's gonna make the under eye look a little bit more bright and it'll make you look a little bit more awake like do you see how it looks the two different ways like I look more sleepy here than this side it might be hard to like notice but like trust Okay, so now that skin is done, it's time to move on with the eyes. But before that, I am just gonna. Oh shit. Okay. I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of chopstick right here. Just on the lips. And then I know it looks really gross, but I always have like a roll of tissue. I know it's crazy. And I'm going to take the foundation off of the lips. So I just put some of Cypress Umber from the Modern Renaissance palette on my brows just to darken them up a little bit more because the powders and all that stuff got them a little bit ashy. So I just put that on and I am putting on some Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel right now. And you wanna make sure your brows look fleek as fuck, you know what I'm saying? And also because you really wanna use a brow gel even if you don't like do like brow color, you wanna use a brow gel almost every single day just because, well not just because, for your, because your brows will probably start flying around and stuff like that and they won't look Fleet. This is really like hairspray in a bottle for your eyebrows. Trust. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this mascara dry and this dry right down there and then I'll wipe that off. But we're gonna do lips. I just put on some chapstick or some gloss or whatever you wanna do, but I wanna put on a lipstick. So for lips, I'm gonna be using this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Stockholm. It is such a pretty shade, I think. I'm gonna say hi. <laughs> Guess my best friend. Hey, what? <laughs> okay. So this is gonna be my first day of school makeup. This is gonna be my makeup for you know usually, you know when I put makeup on to do for, to go to school, not to do school, but to go to school. This would be the makeup that I'm doing. But you know if we're talking about the football Fridays. We're gonna spice it up just a little bit. And this is also something I would wear to school regularly if I could. You know, my parents would be like, no, and I was like, fuck, so yeah. So let's let me just show you that. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this eyeliner, it's a felt tip liner, and this is by Cap on D in the tattoo liner and trooper. And what I'm gonna do is that hold on, I just need like this is the mirror right here. I'm just gonna make a line right at the eye, like super close. I'm not going to make a wing at all, just going to do a line. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this ColourPop gel liner, it's just the regular black one in Swerve, and this Pop Beauty brush, it's just a little flat like square brush. 
And what I'm gonna do is with that liner and that line, try, really try to not like um, pull out your skin that's bad. But I'm just gonna like low key smoke it out with that gel liner. And I'm not really gonna do it on the inner part of my eye as much as the outer just because with the lashes I'm putting on, with the lashes like I usually like wearing, you really want the dark, you really want the end of your eye to be the most like dramatic. Okay, like I'm looking scared to do anything else, so I'm not gonna do anything else. But I wanted to do just a little bit of more darkness for the lashes. The lashes I'm going to be using are these lashes. These are the Laura Lashes by SVD Lashes, one of my favorite lash companies. And I'm just going to go and pop those on, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just put on the lashes, and I like these lashes so much. They're so pretty. Like, I like lashes that like flare out on the ends just because it makes the eye my eyes look more up. And I love that. I love this look. It's natural, even though the lashes are on, it, it still could be taken as a natural look. This could be like your football Friday. Um, if you have those at your school, I don't really know. I do, I know I do. So yeah, this is the end of the look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is so easy, it's such an easy makeup. Um, of course, use whatever you want, you know, if you want to fucking like you can still use this video even if you don't use like the full cover stuff. You know, if you got your BB cream, put on some bronzer, some concealer, set it, highlight. Like I just like this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below. It's either here or here. I don't know, it's one or the other. Um, check out all my social media. They will be all down below. And I think I said I'd list something down below. I forgot. I think it was, oh, my eyebrow video, so I'll list that down below. Um, I don't really know what else I'm going to list down below, but just check the description. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope school, if school didn't really start, my school starts on Monday, the 27th of August. But if your school already started, I hope you're having a good start of the year. And if you're not, fix that shit because school actually is important. And yeah, this is my back to school glam and check out my last two videos subscribe and yeah I love you so much thank you for watching like truly thank you for watching and yeah I will see you in my next video so I already did my brows off camera just because that takes up time and I don't think you want to see that and either way I already have a video a tutorial on my video oh my gosh what the fuck